Hello and welcome to Microchips. In this episode we'll be looking at a two cell battery protection board for 18650 lithium ion batteries. That's two cells, 7.4 volt to 8.4 volt with cell balancing. And here we can see the board and the reverse of the board. We'll just go in closer in just a sec. So this is designed for two cells. So you can see some standard components there, MOSFETs, the battery balance in ICs. It's all standard things you'd expect to see in this type of circuit. Anyway, here's the listing, £3.45 each. And these didn't come from China directly, but I suppose they did. But as you can see, there's some description. It's got short circuit protection over voltage, over discharge. And charging voltage 8.4 to 9 volts. With a maximum capacity of 10 amps. So here's another listing with the diagram of how to connect it. It's very simple. The BM connection goes in the centre of the batteries. And this is one of the ports where you have to add a voltage to the output for it to wake up. So, let's build it and see if it works. So I've got a couple of 18650 lithium ion holders. We'll just tin the pads up. There we go, all nicely tinned. Let's connect the battery packs. I always like to tin my wires first. So connect the first positive wire. And the center of these two battery packs goes onto the BM connection. got a use for this board which we'll be seeing in a short while. As you can see you solder one wire and another one jumps off. So we'll try that again. And that's held this time. We'll connect the remaining terminal. And that's the battery holders connected. Now we'll tin the power in and power out terminals. And we'll add some wire to it. Let's 
just connect these wires to the board. To turn the temperature up on the iron, this, this contact seems to be sinking quite a lot of heat. Our wiring done. So there we have it with both batteries inserted. 7.9 volts across the batteries. Then we're going to connect power supply to wake the board up. We'll turn up the voltage on the power supply. As you can see the voltage is now rising. So I think it actually current limited this to about an amp. So we'll go, go across one of the cells. 3.9 on one of the cells. To be honest, I don't think these cells are very good. expensive of cells to be honest. Eight point two across the batteries again. As you can see one cell is higher than the other so I don't think we'll be bothering with these cells try some different ones they don't seem to be balanced very well to be honest they are a little bit old but this is what the cells are going in I've already taken out my temporary cell holders So I've added a couple of sticky pads to hold the board down. What we're going to do is we're just going to glue these to the inside of the project box and we'll cable tie the battery management board down. I don't want to stick it to the bottom because I did notice it did get quite warm whilst it was charging. Let's cable tie it into place. And what we'll do is we'll just use a little bit of adhesive to glue the battery holders down. A little bit of double sided tape just as temporary to hold them in place whilst the glue sets. It's secure. It's not going anywhere. 
and there we have the battery holders in situ. Let's try with a couple of LG batteries. There we have it, 8.2 across the terminals. Measure one under cells, 4.1. Measure the other cell, 4.1. These cells seem to be a lot better than the other ones. So what we'll do is we'll just Leave it on for a little while. And there's a the frequency counter running off its own power. All looking good. So there's this project, just finished. Frequency counter where you can charge the batteries without having to take the lid off and take them out. And with batteries you can actually replace should you ever need to. So we're just having a quick monitor of the cell voltages after a short while and everything seems to be stable. So happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Microchips. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and we'll see you in the next video.